So obviously you went through last year's game, kind of, what are your emotions going into this year's Ole Miss game? Uh, we just want to go in there and play our best and hopefully get the victory. You see your, your, your defense every day in practice. Is it, is it faster than any team that you've seen since you've been here? Uh, in practice, our defense is very hard to do things against. I mean, that's why I guess when we're going to games, it's a lot more easier, I would say, some to some games. But we got a very good defense. And we, we get out of each other. Kevin, you showed some of the arm talent that he has on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, they got really, we got really good quarterbacks, and Jalen and Blake. I mean, they both got strong arms that people didn't know, but uh, Jalen can run and throw. And uh, yeah, I've been in practice. He makes good throws, deep throws. So I know he has arm. He's pretty good. How long does it take for the receivers and the quarterback to get the time to get out of some of those deep passes? Uh, it's just not that long. We go routes and in practice. We throw pretty, we throw some deep balls, and I guess that comes when we do that in practice. So, is it different though in the game? Obviously, I mean, you got the pressure coming at the quarterback, and you know, timing can change. Uh, I mean, it's just it's just like practice. I mean, I'm going against a one-eyed DB, and he throws a deep ball to make a play. It's pretty much the same. When did you guys feel really comfortable with Jake last year, though? Like with the, with those timing rounds. When, when did it really click? Do, do you remember? That's a practice. I mean, we, everything we do in the game, we do in practice. So everything, practice. What does uh, Darius Stewart bring to that receiver group from the leadership standpoint? Oh yeah, he's uh, I would say he's the leader in the group. He uh, motivates everybody in practice. He motivates everybody in the game. He just uh, he knows every everything. He knows the plays. He's just one of those guys that you can go to and talk to if you don't know what you're doing and stuff like that. And it just pumps everybody up. And how how good is he? Very good. Very good. What, what makes him? I mean, what, I can ask him the same thing about you. What makes him good? Uh, well, I call I call Stewart running back. He's very he's very physical. He's a guy that can get really get out there. Anybody linebacker, D lineman. So and he got great hands, vision. He's fast. He's got great ball skills. So I really he really get out there. Nick talked about uh, West Kentucky really loaded the box. It kind of left a little bit of one on one, maybe one on two situations for you. How were you able to kind of take advantage of that? Uh, I just I just did whatever the coaches called up, made, made plays to help my team. How long have you been calling our Darius running back for? Or how long have you felt that he looked like a running back? Uh, since I got here, I mean I ain't say he looked like a running back. I just like <laughs> when he gets the ball, he runs so hard, so like he just runs guys over and stuff. So I was like, God, he looks like a running back. Right? Looks Not like person. looks like he gets mad when people try and tackle him. All yeah, man, he's physical. As a receiver, what what is there any challenge to the RPOs knowing you may or may not get the ball? What kind of thing is there any? Uh, so that's why, because Nate always tell us don't guess while we're playing, because you can ne you never know. So we just we try to run our routes every route that we have full speed. We yeah. don't guess. What was it like for you to have an expanded role last year after the Ole Miss game? I mean, to come in that week and that be the week that your your role kind of really increased. Uh, I just, I just, it, was, it sucked to have Rob go down that, that week, and I just wanted to step in and help my team. That's it. I just wanted to help the team any way I could. How fluky was the game, that game last year? I mean, you know, with some of the tip passes, the, you know, just some of the crazy plays back and forth. I mean, we couldn't really do nothing about that. Them guys played really good, and we, we didn't play as good as we should have, but we, they, they, they did their best, and we did our best, so they got to win. Do you feel like you outplayed them, if not for the turnovers, though, last year? Uh, we just we tried our best. I mean, they, they made plays, we made plays, and they, they came out with the win. And the fans don't think y'all should ever lose. So how much do you hear about Ole Miss? Uh, not that much. I mean, not that much? I don't try to look into it. I just go to game by game by game and just ignore this other stuff. Did you watch uh, uh, one or two questions? Did you watch uh, Florida State Ole Miss on TV? Uh, no, I didn't watch it. I was watching something else. <laughs> I didn't get a chance. <laughs> it's, uh, it's rare for a true freshman to start a quarterback. What's Jalen kind of shown from when he arrived last January to now? He got a lot of leadership in him. I mean, he talks up. He's trying to take that role, I, I would say. And uh, he's getting pretty good at it. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.